Cardiac axis is the net direction of electric activity during depolarization. In a healthy heart, the net movement is downward and slightly left. This axis is deviated in certain conditions, for example in left ventricular hypertrophy, axis is secured further left, while in right ventricular hypertrophy, the result of deviation is to the right. Cardiac axis can be determined by examining the six limb leads which look at the heart from different angles in a vertical plane. QRS complex is most important and it represents the ventricular depolarization. QRS axis is considered normal when it is between minus 30 to plus 90 degrees and it is left axis deviation when it is between minus 30 to minus 90 degrees and it is considered right axis deviation when it is between plus 90 to plus 180 degrees and rest is known as extreme axis or northwest axis. There are several methods to estimate cardiac axis. We will discuss two of them. Number one is quadrant method. Look at the QRS complex in lead 1 and AVF. If it is positive in both lead, axis is normal and QRS complex is positive in lead 1, negative in AVF, then left axis deviation. If QRS complex is negative in lead 1 and positive in AVF, then right axis deviation. And if it is negative in both lead, then extreme axis deviation. Second method is isoelectric lead method. It consists of finding of isoelectric or equiphasic lead one with the equal or nearly equal negative and positive deflections axis is line is perpendicular to the direction of isoelectric lead next look at the lead that runs nearest to this line if qrs is positive in that lead axis points towards the same direction of the lead and if it is negative axis points towards the opposite direction